In this demo, we are using Chrome, as this is the web browser that is most highly tested for our program and ensures you have access to all the program features. You can access the online platform from your computer or mobile device by clicking on the My Cap login found in the top right hand corner of the Cap website. Clicking this button will take you to the My Cap login screen where you will enter your username and password. Your login username is the personal email associated with your member profile. This is the one where CAP sends you regulatory information. If this is your first time logging in, please reset your password. The reset password email will be from Alinity. Please remember to check your various folders such as junk, spam, promotions, etc. for this email. Note that CAP does not have access to your password and cannot retrieve it for you. Pressing the login button will take you to the main portal page. For this demo, we are using Dr. Anna Freud's login. To locate the Continuing Competence Program, you'll want to go to the left-hand navigational column where you'll see a variety of tabs. Click on the My Learning tab. This will take you to an entrance page for the Continuing Competence Program. Over time, you'll be able to see all your annual Continuing Competence Programs listed here. If this is the first time you're entering a plan for the year, you'll need to create a new plan. To do this, there'll be a plus icon to add a plan for the current registration year. And if you need more information, you can see the how to tech guide for visual images to do so. If you already have a plan started and you would like to make changes, simply click the chevron or arrow and you'll be in your continuing competence program. Note that while your plan is available throughout the year, not all program features are available all year round. Some steps and activities within the steps open and close according to practice renewal periods. Please see the CAP CCP webpage for information on all relevant timelines. Now that we are logged in, let's spend a few moments navigating the continuing competence area. First and foremost, there are five separate tabs, also called pages, across the top of your screen here. This is how you will navigate the Continuing Competence Program. So when you open your program, you'll first come up on the Practice Profile page. There are two different things you'll find on this page. First, you'll find a set of uh, instructions, which we really strongly encourage you to read of course and then secondly you'll have the fields where you fill in your practice description okay you'll scroll down to the bottom here you'll notice that there's also boxes here where you can navigate arrows that will move you through the various tabs or pages much as if you were clicking on the top if you find yourself not knowing where you are you can simply scroll up to the top and you'll see here that the ethics and jurisprudence tab is slightly pronounced with a with a tab or bar going across the top here and you'll know you're on the ethics and jurisprudence page so you can simply navigate back to the professional knowledge and practice page by clicking on it again or you can navigate using these buttons at the bottom while we're at the bottom here i also want to show you this save for later button this is going to become your best friend so when you are done entering something on a page, you're highly recommended to hit the save for later button. By doing so, it's going to save your work and you'll get a notification up in the top right hand corner that your plan has been saved and then you can confidently navigate to another page. If you do not uh, hit the save for later button and inadvertently use perhaps a back button here or your back button up here, what's going to happen uh, is that your work is going to be lost. So truly, at the end of every page, please remember simply to scroll down, hit the Save for Later button, you'll know your work is saved and you can confidently navigate from page to page, not worrying about losing anything. Thank you for watching. For more information, please take a look at the CAP website on continuing competence.